worship your name and praise you, Lord, for whom you are. Thank you so much for granting us another privilege to come and seek thy face. We ask, O oh Lord, tonight that you will hear us even as we call upon thy name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to begin to give thanks to God. We want to begin to worship the Lord. The Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father who had made us partakers of the inheritance in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness, and have translated us to the kingdom of his dear son. At this time, we are bowing before the Lord, and we are worshipping his holy name. We <laughs> his holy name and honor him. There is no one to be likened unto him. There is no one to be compared to our God. Worship him. Praise him. Glorify his holy name. Let's open our mouth and give thanks to God. Let's celebrate what we God. Let's lift his name Aya. Our God and our Father, the gracious Redeemer, we want to appreciate you. Thank you, God of heaven, for this privilege you have given to us to come in with you once again. Thank you for the service of today, O oh God. Thank you for the demonstration of your mighty power. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you, Father, for the encouragement. Thank you for praying. All that. Amen. I want to thank him for thank the privilege to be in the service of the Lord. Thank you for all the The people that we call commissioner, ministers, who have been appointed by governor of state and president of the countries define the world as privileged people to be recognized and to be appointed. And I want to say that we are much, much, much privileged to be appointed by God and then to be put into the service of the Lord. For the apostle says, I thank Jesus, the Lord, who are the neighbor who have come to me and put me into the ministry. So it's, it's a privilege to be counted worthy and to be put in the ministry. Yes. The privilege to be a pastor is a privilege to be a so servant of God. The righteous God, everlasting Father, God in the name of Jesus. My God, everlasting Father, what a great privilege you have given to us that we can, you know, we can, we can fellowship with brethren of like precious faith. Some are in the in the in the in the in the prison yard that did not even commit any offense. Yet they found themselves in those in that particular place. Son, like the one I saw this night, his arm, one of the arm was dislocated. And he did not do anything just because his name resembled the criminal they were looking for. Eventually, they went after him and then they dislocated his arm, his arm for pull out. God of heaven, what a great privilege you have given to us. That God of heaven, oh Lord, we, have, we did not find ourselves in the hospital bed, on, on the hospital bed there. Lord God, he did not allow us to make hospital our second home. Rather, you help us to be in your presence where we can receive strength and power and grace to be able to run the race to the end. Okay. Blessed be your name. Amen. Tonight, we want to pray that the Lord will strengthen us. The Holy Ghost will pray to us, empower us to pray, energize us to pray, revitalize us to pray. It will not be a mechanic. 
God everlasting Father, God, we are here tonight. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, there is power. In your presence, there is no weakness. Lord, in fact, you don't give weakness, you give strength. My Bible tells me, it said, it gives power to the faith. And to them that have no mind to increase his strength. Meaning that God, you are a specialist in giving strength, in giving power, in giving anointing, freshness, and even revival. And that is why, God, we have come tonight, oh God. Blessed Redeemer, O King of Glory, the Father of our Lord Jesus. I am asking my Father once again tonight, O God, Lord, grant unto us a refreshing tonight. Grant unto us, Amen. Tonight, when we major our prayer, we will be reminding God of some things. In Psalm 37, in verse 3, and in verse 4, and in verse 5. Psalm 37, verse 3, 4, and 5. Psalm 37. Verses 3, in verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good. We want to pray that God will increase our trust and confidence in Him. Servant of God, a lot of people are losing hope and they are losing their confidence in God. What the devil wants to do to people of God and God's servant is that doubting his ability, doubting his power. In his love and in his personality. And the moment you get out of your life, God will minimize for your life, you to doubt the divine power of God for your whole life. And the one God has commissioned into your life, you begin to go into things you are not all supposed to go into. And that's what leads to some pastors. Going into what we call successful events. And little by little, they are drifting. Little by little, their heart will no longer be perfect towards the God of heaven. No wonder we are told of a man of a king in the Bible. He did that which was right in the sight of God, but not with a perfect heart. We want to pray our heart will be perfect towards God. Our heart will keep trusting in the Lord. The economy of the nation has made a lot of people to begin to do their stand and conviction towards the law. Ours will not be like that. Ours will not be so. Our trust and confidence will be firm and solid. Shall we pray? Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, God, I come to you tonight, O God. Lord, you are the one that encourages us. Oh, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And do good. Almighty God, our hope, our confidence, our trust, our heart, everything is in, is in you, God. Mighty God, renew my trust and my confidence in you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all the things that are fighting against our faith and our confidence in you, Lord, nothing will give way for faith to stand in our heart, in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, everlasting Father God, help me, Lord, to trust you, to put my confidence God, in you at every point in time. When it is convenient and when it is not convenient. Amen. 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 The Bible says in that place that we are to trust in the Lord and we are to do good. This is pastor prayer tonight, and we don't lead prayer in pastor prayer, just the way we lead in a general prayer. Prayer has different dimensions and different shapes, different levels and pedestals. And that's why Paul the Apostle told the people 
that pray with all prayers. All prayers means there are different levels and different kinds of prayers. And what we are doing now, very important, is one of the shades, is one of the branches of prayer. And we're making petition to God and we're telling God, petition is part of prayer, but mm. intercession is the highest form of prayer. And we're still coming to intercession later. And you find today, intercession is missing. Why is it missing? It's because of the situation of the world and selfishness is beginning to set in. I'm aware of what I'm saying and I understand what I'm saying. The scripture says in that place, it says, trust in the Lord and do good. And do good. Do not say that what you have is only for your family. And do good. We want to pray in the name of Jesus, the economy of the world will not make us chicken in our goodness. The God of heaven will help us day and night and will continue to do good. Bye. Lord, the God everlasting Father, God, I look unto you, dear God. So shall that dwell in the land. So shall that dwell in the land. Mm -hmm. Not just dwelling in the land, but you will dwell safely in the land. We are going to pray in our places of abode. We shall dwell safely. None mm -hmm. shall, shall harass mm -hmm. our children. At mm -hmm. the end, to an end, you will dwell safely. You will go mm -hmm. out safely. Stop mm -hmm. Your children will go out safely. Your Amen. children will not be safely. Your yes, husband sir. will not be safely. Your yes, wife sir. will not be safely. My God will be in the land. No Amen. man will be no no in the land. No man will be in the Father God, in the name of Jesus, so righteous God, everlasting Father God, I am asking, O oh Lord, God, by the power of your Spirit, O oh God, Lord, I am asking my Father God that my family will do us safely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, everlasting Father God, please help me. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh Lord, that God has to so help me by grace and power that my family will dwell safely, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm asking my Father, in the name of Jesus, keep my family.
but to show the assurance and the certainty. It says, verily, you will be fed. There is no shadow of doubt about this. This is sure and certain. You will be fed. Thy word, dear Lord. Amen. Thy word, Jesus. Honor thy word in every life of us. Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, Mighty I Father, love to you right now. Pray in the name of Jesus. God, in the life of every pastor, in our in lives, life, in our family. In my home, oh God, in my I pray. Honor oh, your word. Honor oh, your word. Honor your word. Honor your word in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father. Honor your word in my life. Honor your word, Jehovah. Honor your word in my life. Honor your word in my life. Bless me, oh God. Bless me, oh God. There'll be no lack in my wife, there'll be no lack in the love of my children. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, may be light of God, the blessings and the resources of heaven. The blessing you will bless me. The blessing you say you will bless me. Oh, bless me, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, bless me, Jesus Christ. From the north to the south, from the east to the west, God, bless me in the name of Jesus. Holy Father. Let's take that verse of scripture beyond just food. We are not just talking about food here. There are people on the platform, they have gone beyond food. Uh, it's not food, food is not the challenge here by the grace of God in many lives. And so we are looking at it beyond. God's word can come in a different way. This is a dynamic for it. Say, Verily, thou shalt be fed. Mm. That thing you are expecting will be taken care of. Verily, mm. your son and daughter will be married. Verily, mm. your life will be taken care of. Verily, mm. if you are tonight, you will be totally, completely mm. between. Verily, as I declare over you now, if you mm. have any issue with your head. I speak as a man under the authority of Christ tonight. Oh. Receive an instant healing. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Very Amen. believer. If there are Amen. power that have victimizing you when you sleep, victimizing you, threatening you, verily, you will be Amen. delivered. Very Amen. 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 Verily, God shall give you that your desired job. Very intelligent and brilliant. Very with your children. Whatever you are expecting. My father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Righteous God, I pray. Father, go to Father, feed me, O God. Father, feed me, O God. You don't need all ramifications. O God, feed me, O God. You promise me that I shall be fed. You promise me that I shall be fed. O God, feed me in all ramifications. O God, satisfy me. 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 Mark, finally satisfy me. Who go by the shall be satisfied by two in two girl wine satisfied me? You know how to begin to satisfy me. That wise satisfy me. Your wise satisfy me. Go satisfy me. And in the city, I will satisfy me. In the name of Jesus, my father, you said, Very me, I shall be fair. Very me, I shall be fair. With the word of life, stay real. Feed me powerfully. With the word of God, fill me with the inspiration. With wisdom, fill me with knowledge. Fill with peace. Amen. 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 Also in the Lord, we want to pray. We shall delight ourselves in the Lord. Amen. I can, it's not enough. 
you, you find yeah. some believers of nowadays, quiet time, no longer taken serious. Uh, they only mm. come to they don't do patching up and patching up. A lot of mm. self management life, uh, workers, leader, different kind of people. You can tell when they are talking. You can tell mm. in the way that they are preaching. You can mm. tell in the way that they are only study scripture. You can mm. tell in the way they administer situation. You can tell mm. a lot of self management, no delight in God, no delight in life, no delight in prayer. It's good to pray corporately, but it's much, much better to pray privately in the closet. Who want to pray? We shall delight in the law. We shall delight in the Bible. Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, mighty Lord, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, by your grace and by your power, O oh Lord, I pray that my delight will be in the Lord, my delight will be in the Lord, my delight will be in you, my delight will be in the Word of God, my delight will be to bless you, my delight will be to honor you, my delight will be to exalt the Lord, my delight will be to go to praise you. My life of God will be in the word of the law. My delight will be in the midst of the law. My delight will be in the power of God. My delight will be in the strength of God. My delight will be in the all power of the Almighty. My delight will be in you. Oh, I pray. To be delighted in you. To take my delight in you. To take joy in seeking you. To take joy in loving you. To take joy in feeling your word. in the name of Jesus, but in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the summary this morning, I was telling the people because looking at the explanation of Jesus uh, on defilement and everything, I told the people what we call emotional fornication, emotional adultery. I told them about what we call mental fornication, and I told them the meaning of emotional adultery. And then I have to put to them. There will be no energy to resist temptation. I tell you the truth. Mm. We know that. No power and energy. You will just this. You see a lady and your heart is pointing towards that lady. You are a believer. You are, you are a believer. Quite the right. You are a believer. Why do they do a child kind of devil? But it simply showed to you that your energy level has gone so low. You were not like that before. But you discover there's an attraction now towards the opposite gender. And there's an attraction, there's a pull, a gravitational pull. It is something for private prayer. It is something for a hard, severe prayer. Okay, so that's why I had to challenge the people. Have you realized the points of it? And then the woman is not their wife, they'll be deriving some pleasure. And I have to explain to the congregation that pleasure you are deriving as you are chatting, erotic pleasure, erotic pleasure. That's adultery right there. That's adultery right there. You don't have to touch the woman. That's emotional adultery. And then you are that enjoyment, that erotic. You are deriving is very common among young people. Very, very common. And they commit a lot of mental fornication and mental life. 
uh, you know, emotional fornication. And that's why we want to pray. Every evil kind of appetite that has risen in our heart today is revived. Spiritual appetite, let it die. Demonic appetite, let it die. Any evil. Mighty Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, every form of appetite, in every form of appetite, oh God, that this be controlled. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Every kind of self gratification, every kind of Google Father, pleasure seeking. Every life of God has the pleasure of the, of the world, the gratification of the world. And God, I pray, let it be crucified. Let it be crucified. In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, I pray, let it be crucified. Let it be crucified. In the name of Jesus. Let it be crucified. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my Father. Give my power in the name of Jesus. Jesus <laughs> Amen. 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 And it shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Please, we want to be very particular here. We are praying that we should be delighted, the delight in the Lord. But the result of our delight in the Lord is the desires of our heart shall be granted. I speak Amen. like everyone on the platform tonight, starting from Pastor Matthew. Your desire shall be granted. God that we should delight Amen. in it. It shall give the desires of our heart. Pastor Matthew, get ready. The desires of your heart will be granted. Amen. Don't say no or know the name now. Your desire will be granted. In the most Amen. 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 Desire will be granted. Pastor Shego, God is granting your desire unto you. And then, yeah. you, who, who, you, you yeah. did, God is granting your desire. Pastor Essie, God is bringing your Amen. desire. Amen. Amen. Jesus, man. God will make you an enigma of excellence and a paragon of success. God Amen. is granting your desire unto you. Let's talk to God in prayer. Our mighty Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, I touch you all the time. Before I finish, I have my heart. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. My desire, O God, Father, that I ask you for. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let my desire be granted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray in the name of God, O God, Father, I do bless you. Okay, Amen. 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 Amen.
you drop your prayer, your, your testimony with Pastor Matthew, because God will decorate your life and family with testimony. Amen. Testimony Amen. your way. We want to pray. This is an intercession. We want to pray for as many who have issues with their marriage. The devil is fighting the last battle, and it's a very fierce battle. It's fighting home terribly and seriously. I am one of the persons that is very interested in marriages and union, and we, we, we tend to, you know, mentor a lot of young people. We have a platform for them, and we tell them a lot to our own marriage, to our own life, the things we do. We are very practical in the teaching that we give to them. And then sometimes they ask a question, and we talk to them. A lot is happening among the young people. A lot is happening among the so-called marriages that are contracted online and in different places. We want to pray. God will deliver our children. God will deliver our children. God will deliver our Your child will not marry a child of Belia. Your child will not be a father in law to the light. You will not be a father in law to the daughters of Belia. You will not be a father in law that will cause you pain and sorrow. Amen. You want to fight to Amen. God to deliver your daughter. You want My to fight father, to God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Who oh God, God, I pray you will be served to God, my children. Who oh God, be served my children. Oh God, I pray that our children will not go astray. Who oh God, I pray our children will not marry wrongly. Who oh God, I pray my children will not be in trouble. Who God, I pray you will be served our children. Who God, I pray you will be our children. Who God, I pray you will not go into wrong marriages. Our children will not be lured. Our children. We will not go astray. Our children will go. We not go into our children. Our children will go in the law. Our children will marry in the law. Our children will serve the law. Our children will fear the law. Our children will be an ethnic father of a million marriage. In the name of Jesus, who God has made, our children will serve the law. Our children specifically we want to pray for some of our leaders who are having issues financially when we pray specific prayer that's when we know god answers prayer we want to cry to god that as many of our leaders on the platform who are, uh, we don't have to mention name, we want to pray and say, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you know your servant, they have been serving you faithfully. And your words there, you will give the desires of your uh, their heart to them. Your word even says, oh God, they should commit their way unto you in that despise, and they should trust in you, they will bring it to pass. That's what you say. And in Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 25, and oh Lord, God, the word that has spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house, establish forever and do as thou hast said. In the life Amen. of all our people, do as thou hast said. That which you have Amen. promised them, do as thou hast said. That which you have promised them, do as thou hast said. Oh God, do as thou hast said. My God, do as thou hast said. Let there be so. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, all of our ministers, all of our pastors, who God, I pray that you will do as you have said. Who God, I pray, all of our desires, let our desires be granted to God, do as thou hast said in the name of Jesus. Who Lord, I pray, for all of our brothers and sisters, who are according to your word, the desires, the right to have in the name of Jesus. Who Lord, I pray, all the needs in the name of Jesus, 
So my wife was to travel yesterday to the village for the younger sister marriage. And then before before the prayer in the morning, and then I saw something, and then I had to wake her up. And what did I see? It was about my own uh, daughter, the second child now, the second baby, the baby of the house. And then ah, it was it was it was it was something else, like somebody going and I mean left this world and all of that. And I'm this type that when I see something negative, and once I hold my wife's hand and fire her, that ends it. You are not going to see me beginning to think of fear or anything because I just know that you know it can't happen. I just the confidence I have about failure. That's why there must be strong unity between you and your spouse. There must be strong unity between you and your wife and your husband. One of the things the devil does is to make sure that you and your husband are not in you are not united because mm -hmm. they, they, they there is this power, an atomic bomb, an explosion that exists. When husband and wife go home, they come to each other and they fire prayer to heaven and their children. The devil can do what? I tell you the truth. There is an atomic prayer, an atomic bomb that goes. And so when I pray and I held the hand, I, whether I held the hand or we just pray together, and then we send SOS message to heaven, and then I clear the road. And then you go for the, you know, I did not even say, uh, you people should not go for this marriage because of what I saw. Uh, don't go, don't go. The road is not clear. The road is clear. Go! Go! <laughs> and then we went and they came back today. By the grace of God, it was all, if I was sharing with me here and there before this prayer, I almost left off sharing with me, giving me a lot of cheese and, all, and I had to listen to her, to hear all of the stories and all of that. God took them to the village and they came back today safely. You will not bury your children. Amen. You will not bury, not bury your daughter. Amen. You will not bury your daughter. Hey, Every package, any embargo, any trap they set for your son or your daughter, any trap they set for you, your husband, for everyone in your family. The Bible says that you get the beast upon it to eat the rod of mm. the wicked. Upon the Lord of the right I Amen. Amen. Oh, Mighty God, everlasting Father, God in the name of Jesus Christ. I have said it to you, you said the Lord of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the right Oh God, I am asking my Father God, every trap that is in the name of God, and all his will not die. My daughter will not die. My son will not die. Remember, I the last prayer point is the prayer point I'll give you now. And that prayer point is very important. And that's the closeness to the Holy Spirit, closeness to the Holy Spirit, sensitivity to the Holy Spirit, and hearing God clearly and hearing the Holy Ghost clearly. One of our pastors was somewhere in Lagos at a particular junction many years ago. And then he was standing there, and all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost said, leave. I, I think whether leave or step aside, I think should be leave. That is, he was to leave there. In the next how many seconds, is this second or minute? Uh, no, that would have been the end of his life. That would become the way you come to him to clear. Ha! So he did not know that something was coming, but Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost knew something was coming to happen there. And he said, leave, or leave, or something like that. And there are people that have died like foul, that have died like the dead. They are not supposed to die because they were deaf and dumb to the voice of God. We want to, mm. our children will not be deaf and dumb. They will not Amen. be deaf. Amen. 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 God, they Amen. Will Mighty God, everlasting Father, Mighty Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. 
and I pray by your grace and by your power, our Lord, 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 before I come to Pastor Shago, let me drop this prayer point and then Pastor Shago, you can take over from there. Uh, 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 my mother in Liberia is slated for this uh, week, this Friday, so I have barely have five days to go. Uh, that's on Friday, so that means I will still be traveling again. I've traveled before to the village to see the in law, and so I, and because of some kind of thing, I told my wife we are going to no pray and fast. Of course, that one is compulsory. And not only that, I also want to be going with some tracks along, plenty of tracks, uh, because it's not just an issue of just going for the barrier. Many of the people should be taught of the Lord. They should know of the Lord. And they should born again. So the prayer request is that my going, the journey will be a small journey. You know, Amen. You know Amen. what happened what happen in June, what happened in June, where I, I told us of a family, a young girl, uh, very close to me. In fact, the eldest brother left my house today. Today, he came to my house to see me today, and uh, he just finished service. His younger brother, who, his younger sister, who was to marry in June, they were mm. going to Ebonyi. You remember? They were going to Ebonyi. Pastor Chagun, you remember the story now? They were going mm. to Ebonyi today for traditional marriage, and I was supposed to be in that vehicle, but I didn't want to attend mm. traditional marriage. I just wanted them to go and come back. I didn't want to go so that I can attend only. And they went for that marriage. And then there was an accident at Enugu. They met Roba, they escaped Roba. They get posted on Facebook on the on the my store escape from the snail of the parlor and all that. No, no, the accident was still waiting for me before. And then mm. there was an accident. A beautiful, promising young girl who was working with Senate Bank already. Young 20, she up to 20, a very young girl, a believer. And that girl died because of that accident. A chief mm. vice who was doing a master in the university, a young girl, Juliet, also died in the just in June year. And I mm. speak to you, they tried to be one of our leaders also. In, in, Hospital, he has undergone first surgery, and then maybe second surgery again. We have been, you know, prayed. We have contribution and. Go on that. The point I'm. Sometimes some of these things are not ordinary, and then a lot. And there were people in that vehicle who were not uh, who were not associated. In fact, they were not just the bride or chief wife's maid, and they survived it in that same box. They survived mm. it. We want to pray for this, my more love barrier. People will not be associated with it. Amen. In that Amen. Amen. Mighty God, everlasting Father, we pray in the name Lord. of Jesus. Lord. We pray to you for our brothers and sisters that you will go with him, your presence will be with him. Father, we pray that your presence will not depart from me. I pray that Lord, you will be with him, 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 you
to Pastor Matthew, we are going to pray generally for ourselves now. We are going to pray for everyone represented on this online prayer meeting. We have been laboring fervently, tirelessly every day and every time, praying for people, praying for this and praying for that. We want to pray our life will not be cut short. Amen. Amen. You don't get me? Our life will not be Amen. cut short. Amen. Remember our wives, Amen. our children, by the grace of God, we are going to pray. Because he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We are going to pray. We are going to tell the Lord, the Lord will preserve our life. He will keep Amen. us. He will, he will protect us from every form of evil. Open your mouth and begin to pray. All the arrows in the night, all the terrors in the night, they will not come near our dwellings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Be sure your life will not be only because in the blood of Jesus Christ, he that give us neither sleep nor slumber, open your mouth and and ask the Lord and say, God, let your hand be upon every one of us all together, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O gracious God, we are asking my brother God, let your divine preservation and protection let it be upon every one of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hand over my family to our God, to my children, to God. No evil will be for everyone of us. In the name of Jesus. Actually, our time is fast spent. Please, I want to hand over to Pastor Matthew now. Please, Pastor, you can take over, sir. This is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of the Lord, uh, two things are in my mind. Uh, uh, Pastor, uh, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name. Udu Ovurore. Uh, please. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a prayer request he presented on the platform. Very, very important. If some of our pastors uh, didn't take note, please go and read it. Uh, uh, if Pastor Shegun have read it, maybe by the time he's rounding up, he will be able to mention it and then we seriously pray for him there. And then by the grace of the Lord, I want to, the, this person may not know that I'm seeing him. I have one of my leader in Federal Polytechnic, Bauchi Aran. I think he was my general uh, coordinator. That was in 1999, if I'm not mistaken, Pastor Anthony. Uh, is in the other polytechnic be there. He has made the, uh, the, the, what do we call him? You know, I only run, I, I, I only run short of grammar. The, uh, as the, a coordinator. Okay. Not as a coordinator now. I'm talking of your, your posting be there yeah. so that when they want to be there, children, they will look for you. <laughs> So let me expose you very well. Group pastor, group pastor. I'm not talking about the the church. Reto. I know. Is that okay. the pastor? You know, please, please talk, talk out. out. Talk, 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 speak out. Yeah. Is the uh the for the department of Sophia? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm listening. Hello, hello, Sophia and Valua. So I want to expose you so that when they want to bring their children to be there, they will not need to stress themselves. They will know you are uh, there. The pray, yes, the prayer request is for divine provision to, be, to enable me. But you know, to for, not the prayer request now we are talking about. Whom you are, yeah. so that our 
all my fathers here, when they need help in be that polytechnic, they will know you are there for by them. The, okay, by the grace of God, I was one time in HOD, but a chief lecturer now in the Department of Estate Management. <laughs> Uh, the Lord. And uh, okay, okay, I want to remember it to the and it was formerly there it should be. Now by the grace of the Lord is going in the PhD uh in Lagos. That's the area where we are going to be from. This is the people that brought uh your servant or in my Christian journey. I pray that Almighty God will continue to be with him. And the grace of the Lord will continue to be with him. Amen. And then here too, I will also do some of my father for him. The Amen. dad that just led that pastor Omar I always call him Odongo. Anytime he's leading prayer, I don't want to miss it. If not because of any other thing, because of his voice. It's like <laughs> <laughs> You know, before oh, please let us put it this way. <laughs> before I see you physically, <laughs> when I listen to his voice, I always think it's somebody that's very slim because of his voice. You know that voice is very slim. Or <laughs> see, I see I see this mama I drop off in data state. <laughs> God just gave me that voice. <laughs> <laughs> God will continue to help me to be with him in Jesus' name. He never rests. He will be on the feet for God every time. I pray that Almighty God will reward him in Jesus' name. As of my life, Joe is in the Oshuku. Uh, uh, by the grace of the Lord, we will continue to obey the Lord in Jesus' name. But it's more of the person in Oshuku. The grace of the Lord will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. His wife is in the uh, anchor. anchor. Uh, I have another one, my father, the eighth, Mike Omari. Uh, in fact, the first time he was introduced to me, it's like we should just continue revival every week. Uh, and if you should remember, I told him that Pastor Omari, I want us to start a special program apart from the online program we are doing. If you remember, this anointed man of God that God has given to your servant, they are backing him up in ministry. I pray that the Almighty God Amen. is going to reward them in Jesus' name. Amen. I have a father that we never know. We are so close. And then nobody ever, I don't think many people know online, Pastor Shegun, we come from the same town. And then I don't think we even react in that way. But the, anytime he's leading, I'll be, oh, this is my dad. I pray that Almighty God is continue to be with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there's another Amen. person, Peter, is not online. Oh, that man, when I was in port, I mean, when I was in port, in red port, I thank God for his life. He was able to do all his effort to bail me out. Almighty God is going to reward him abundantly in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. uh, more of a pastor here is not the pastor that oh, I wish you listen to him on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Almighty God will continue to be with them in Jesus' name. The pastor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. never know. Mm -hmm. He has been with us for long, long, long years, and we just be silent. Say, he won't know. This is part of the people you they, they, they are in the back backyard praying, supporting you. Almighty God, we support him, we support his family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of the Lord will continue to be upon him in Jesus. Amen. I can see my son, because I've known him. Uh, Almighty God will continue to help me to be with him in Jesus. He said, Do not be contained. Yes. If they are sending body, I do not mention as I go online. I'm very sorry. Uh, okay, I have passed up back. Uh, Recently, we have just met Pastor Bart, and he has been doing wonderful work for us online in associating with us, in being with us, in supporting us, in do everything he can do to promote our prayer online. I pray that Almighty God will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. Uh, Pastor, uh, so, uh, Pastor Chegu, by the time you are rounding off, you'll be able to pray for Pastor Sino. He will talk to us. But these two things, you help me, you, you help us to pray for him for financial betrothal in his PAD program. 
Almighty God is going to see him through in the name of Jesus Christ. For Amen. the day, the Almighty God is going to lift him up physically. Amen. The name Amen. of Jesus Amen. Christ and his testimony is going to be full in Jesus' name. Pastor Tinova, please. Talk to us about a few minutes. Then Pastor Chek will round up for us. Uh, Pastor Kileso. I said talk to us in a few minutes. Then Pastor Chek will oh, round up for us. Fellow minister. Yes, fellow ministers, I'm highly delighted to be on this uh, prayer chain tonight. I was, in fact, I'm really blessed with all the prayer points that our, bread, our brother has been leading us. My prayer is that we will end this year rejoicing and praising God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You are welcome, Thank sir. You. God bless you. Welcome. God bless Thank you. you sir. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Pastor, say good morning to you, sir. All right, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we want to appreciate you tonight. Yes, Thank Lord. you so much for all that you have done. Thank you for this Thank wonderful you, moment of prayer. Of course, it's a sweet hour of yes. prayer. It's a moment for yes, us to Lord. renew our strength and our vision, and also to yes, be more Lord. focused on our goal of getting to heaven. Amen. Father, we thank Amen. you so much for all your investment in our lives. You have so much invested yes, grace Lord. upon our lives, your power, your anointing, your freshness into our lives. We pray, Lord, that the oil of grace will not dry up in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord, we lift up our brethren that has just joined us, our pastors that has just joined us. Lord, the uh, pastor that is uh, in their need financially, that actually need financial assistance and help. Father, we are praying, oh God, that Lord, you will raise up on every side unto him, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, I shall not lack. I pray, oh God, that there will be no moment of lack in his family, in his own, in his life, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, Father, we are praying Amen. once again, O oh Lord, for the other brother that also needs upliftment in one area or the other. Lord, you know the area. You know what actually is desiring from you. Lord, your word says that the desire of the righteous shall be granted unto him. I pray, oh Lord, you know much more than what he's desiring from you, God. You will do for him, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord, once again, Amen. we are handling, we hand over every one of us on this platform, both those who are present and those who are not even opportune to be to be here. We are praying, O oh God of heaven, you will surprise us even before the year runs out, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'll give you all the glory because we know you have answered. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 I do not mention it, Pastor Paul. He's from Germany. This big daddy has always been with us online. Very quiet. I pray that. What about my Mama Jiro Tutu? Yeah, I don't. Um, don't forget that he's Pastor Yi Femi. Sir. It's okay. You know this is a pastor's meeting, sir. God bless you. Okay, yes, sorry. God bless you, sir. Amen. God bless you. Uh, so, also, uh, uh, also uh, Paul, since in Germany, I pray that Almighty God will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. Amen. But, uh, all all do, uh, God is going to clear in the name of Jesus Christ. His testimony Amen. full in Jesus' name. Amen. We will have any other thing. We shall meet in the night by the grace of the Lord for a serial law. Uh, expect mm. another bombshell from Pastor you of me. The grace of the Lord will continue to be with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once Amen. again, every one of us online and in Charlotte, we appreciate you. Pastor Sinopha, these people have mentioned they have been with me during the dry, when it was dry, when it was wet. Almighty God will not forget their labor of love in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
you will not do it in vain in Jesus' name. You will not miss Amen. me at all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, Amen. God bless you all. Let's share the grace. Thank you. This is the first of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. So I have a message to follow us in all the days of our lives. And we shall do it in the name of Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Pastor, peace has your journey. We have blessed you. We have greeted you. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. Bye bye. You meet in the midnight by the grace of the Lord. The morning in Nigeria. Thank you, Pastor Akamu. Pastor Matthew. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. God bless all of you. Another time. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Amen, sir. Good night and good morning. Good night, please. Good night. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, 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 not 10 to 11. Hello? Uh, we're coming to Ephesians chapter 5. As we look at Ephesians chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 22. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22, all through to the end. As we read, I want you to focus your mind on two things that are actually together. A godly marriage and a heavenly-minded family. Not just marriage, a godly marriage. Not just a family, a heavenly-minded family. As we read from verse 22 of Ephesians chapter 5, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even us. Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, therefore, as the church is submissive unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands. In, in everything, everything. husbands, love, love your wives, wives even as Christ also loved love the church, the church and, and gave himself for it, it, that he might, might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing, the washing of water, water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish, so ought men to love their own wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones for this cause, for this reason, to this end, shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church, nevertheless. Let every one of you, 
in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverends respect or honor her husband as we look at the scriptures we find that marriage is god's own institution it is something that god himself originated and it is something that god himself began and he gave it to humanity as far back as genesis immediately he created man genesis i'm reading from chapter one genesis chapter one we're looking at verse 26 this talks generally about the creation of man it's in chapter two you have in particular the coming of the woman and then the institution of marriage by god himself genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and god said let us make man in our image after our own likeness that shows the original plan and purpose of god he wanted man that will be like him spiritually be like him also morally so that the life will reflect the creator who has created us so he said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion it's not talking of it's not a wanting to create a man that will be a puppet a man that will be weak a man with no spine a man with no courage a man with no life to live but a man that has dominion over everything on earth in verse 27 so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him then it says male and female created he them we have the details in chapter 2 and after the creation in chapter 2 of the man here is what god said and the lord god said it is not good that the man should be alone i will make him a help meet for him a help suitable for him a help appropriate for him a help that will support him a help that will sustain the purpose for which i created him that's already telling you the plan of god concerning marriage and he's telling you the purpose of god concerning marriage and eventually god created eve and brought eve unto adam and then adam recognized that this is born of my bones and flesh of my flesh i am man and she will be called woman and then god establishes established at that time a principle for the rest of the world in all the generations that will follow look at verse 24 therefore that means because of that because of what god had done for adam and for eve therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother is not talking about adam adam had no father had no mother he's saying because of what i have done for adam and eve and i created them one after the other and i brought them together i originated the union in all the marriages that will follow he will originate the union in your marriage if you are not married yet he will originate that union and then in all the marriages that will follow i'm going to take this person adam and eve as a pattern as a model here is what i've done he has the power to do it he has not changed he has not changed he will do it in your life in jesus name he says therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife it says you leave one relationship to come into a lasting relationship and they shall be one flesh you see in that original plan of god one man one woman 
that original plan says God does not want polygamy. And you see, there was nothing that Adam could do to divorce Eve and marry another. There's no other woman. God created only one. It shows the plan of God from the original creation and institution of marriage. Monogamy, one man, one woman. Not only that, created Eve to be different from Adam, a male and a female. Not a male and a male. A man and a woman. Not a man and a man. It shows the original intention of God. And it says, therefore, shall a man leave father and mother. It says, what I have done here now is a symbol, is a foundation, is a step, is a springboard to all the marriages that will follow after. One man, one wife. And then a man and a woman. And then there is no chance for divorce. In fact, the word of God tells us very clearly that God hates divorce or putting away. Malachi chapter 2. In Malachi chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 14. Because marriage today should still follow God's plan. And if the world has forgotten the standard of God, the plan of God, the purpose of God, the church must remember the plan of God and must follow after that plan of God. Things may change, but God never changes. Malachi chapter 2 verse 14. Yet ye say, wherefore, because the Lord has been witness between you, between thee, and the wife of the youth. The wife, singular, of the youth, your very first wife, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Yet she is thy companion. You have dealt treacherously. You have been unfaithful to her. You have driven her out. You have put her away. And yet in the mind of God, she is, even to this present time, thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. The Lord established marriage as a covenant. It's not just, you know, I'll be your friend, you'll be my friend. We'll live together, we'll plan together, we'll do things together. It's not something we do privately. A covenant is a public thing. There are people that are asking us, can we not just decide to take uh, the woman? And then privately we, do, we agree together because um, it's an agreement between us. And we can make it as private as we want to. No, you cannot because it's a covenant. And a covenant is not a secret thing. It's a covenant you make before God. And you make before the people of God. That's why it says, it's the wife of thy covenant. Look at verse 15. And did he not, did not he make one? It's going back to Genesis. It's going back to the original plan. And it said, didn't he make one? Yet it says that had he not, had seen the residue of the spirit, and wherefore one? Why did he make one? The man and the woman. For them to come together as one. That he might seek a godly seed. Godly marriage, heavenly minded family. That she might seek a godly seed. Therefore, take it. Therefore, watch. Therefore, take caution. Therefore, beware. Therefore, take heed to your spirit and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says that he hateth, tell me, putting away, he hateth divorce. He hated separation. He hated, go your way, I go my way. You see, marriage is not just your private affair. Marriage is not just your private decision. 
God is involved in this. And because God is involved, eternity is involved. It's after all, marriage is an earthly thing. And whatever I do, that's just my personal choice. If I decide I don't want to continue, that's me. No, that's not just you. God is involved. And it says, God hated putting away. And then it goes on to tell us what will happen. He says, for one covered violence with his garment, says the Lord of hosts. He's saying that there's so much violence in homes, so much um, wife beating, husband nagging at home. And God says, it's not just, just that you live together, he wants you to have peace together. There will be peace in our families. It's not just that we're tolerating each other. No, we're affectionate with each other. And then it goes on to say, Therefore, take heed to your spirit that ye deal not treacherously. As you come to the New Testament, again you find the same thing. That as Jesus referred back to marriage, he didn't uh, refer to the time of David or the time of Abraham or the time of Moses. He went right back to the beginning. We're looking at Matthew chapter 19. In Matthew chapter 19, I'm reading here from verse 3. Matthew chapter 19, we're looking at verse 3. A godly marriage and a heavenly minded family. In Matthew chapter 19, verse uh, 3, and the Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Look at that question. It wasn't actually a sincere question. The people that came asking the question, the Pharisees, they were not thinking of solving anybody's problem. They wanted to put Jesus Christ in a bad light. They wanted to try, they wanted to trip him, trick him, and trap him into something that they will say that the other the people that were listening to him will say that that's you know we'll see what he has said well they wanted to hinder the salvation of the people they wanted to put a barrier between the savior and the sinner that he ought to save they wanted to say now if you're having marriage problem and let, let's hear what jesus will say you're following him you're listening to him you're paying attention a rapt attention i see if he is saying the truth okay we're going to ask him a question tempting him this were pharisees some believers i pray you'll not be like that i said you will not be like that you see, when we ask questions, it should be that we are interested in solution. That we really want the problem answered or the problem solved and the question answered will edify us and edify other people. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? Or are you asking me? Don't you read? Are you not the preachers in the synagogue? Don't you have the word? Have ye not read that he which made them when? Tell me out loud. At the beginning. Don't follow any modern modification. Don't follow any kind of modern thing that anybody, the new generation people, what they're saying, what they're bringing. It says, have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them Male, how many? Female, how many? One man, one wife. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. I pray that we'll stay with the words of Jesus in Jesus' name. As we look at this today, and we're going to go back to Ephesians chapter 5, from verse 22, all through to verse 33. There are three things we're going to consider. Number one, permanent partnership in a scriptural marriage. Permanent partnership in a scriptural 
marriage. Uh, let's come to Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. I will see the plan of God, the purpose of God, and the program of God for the man and the woman, the husband and the wife. As we read from verse 22, it says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Verse 23, for the husband is the head of the wife. The husband is the head of the wife. Let, let's stop there for a moment. For those of us who are planning to get married, who are praying to get married, the head determines the direction of the body. Our head naturally determines how far our bodies will go. Our head determines how far the hand can work. Our heads determine how far the feet will travel. Our head determines how far the whole body will move. That's why you want to think through. And you want to plan very well. And you want to pray very well. Because once you have this man as your head, you are joined together as the head is joined with the body. And no matter how clever you are, no matter how serious you are, no matter how spiritual you appear to be now without that man, once you come together, you'll not go farther than that head can carry you. That, that's the plan of God. That's one thing. It's the head and the body united together, too. It's only this that separates the head and the body. Once you have, look at the man. If you cut off that head, the body is dead and the head is dead. That means then in the union, in marriage, in the mind of God is the head and the body. And to do anything and to sever them, to separate them, to cut off the head is to kill the marriage and to kill both of them. Because in the mind of God, the union is the union of the head and the body. Not only that, the head is the one that plans and thinks and foresees and will project for the body. What can the hand write without the head? And what can the hand produce without the head? What can the hand manufacture Without the head, you are literally paralyzed. You are impotent. You are weak. You are anemic. You have nothing you can do without a good head. That means then, as you are planning, I want to get married. I want to get good. God wants you to get married. In fact, he is planning for you. I said he is planning for you. Why don't you ask him? Because when you find a wife, when you find a husband, that wife is from the Lord. And I believe that this morning, before you even pray, he has it for you already. And all you need is the revelation. You know, you've been looking here and looking there. Revelation will come to you in Jesus' name. We're looking at, we're looking at Proverbs chapter 18. And I'm reading from verse 22. Uh, by Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth, findeth. No, not something we'll regret about. Had I known, if you find a wife from the Lord, you'll find a good, good thing. Give me a good amen there. And obtain a favor of the Lord. It's the Lord's doing. It says, you obtain a favor of the Lord. But the question is, how can I receive that favor of the Lord? Uh, there are times that people make things very much complicated. And uh, it's like what God makes simple. The people, they complicated it. Look at, um, look at Adam. Adam did not have any lecture, any message. Adam did not have any kind of encouragement. Adam did not have any kind of counseling or demonstration of this. Adam did not have a previous example. How will I know? You will know. How will I be able to tell? You will tell. 
God created Eve. Because when God was going to make Eve, Adam was actually sleeping. And it wasn't ordinary, you know, sleep from 10 p.m. to uh, 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. This was deep sleep that God performed an operation and removed a rib and made a woman. And Adam did not know anything going on. As he woke up like this, God said, I've been thinking about you. As we wake up tomorrow morning, I've been thinking about you. God is thinking about you in Jesus' name. And then he said, look at what I have for you. And immediately Adam recognized, that's my bone. That's my flesh. You will recognize. When God guides, it's very simple. He will tell you in your heart. But you must believe the voice of God 